Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we get to ride with Glamis Recovery 911 in Glamis, California. So whether you're riding your own or you're renting, when you break down, what happens? If you need to get out of the sand dunes, you reach out to Glamis Recovery. We were able to meet up with them and find out a little bit more about their services. So my name is Armando Samaniego uh, with Glamis Recovery, and uh, basically we do Glamis uh, recoveries in Glamis, Ocotillo, Buttercup, Gordon's Wells, and anywhere else that, that recoveries are needed. We have uh, five trucks, all with tracks, and a couple guide vehicles, like side-by-sides and Jeeps with tracks as well. We go out, basically recover anybody who needs help. You go to our website, you go to our app, and you can actually purchase a coverage this season was it's already over you can't purchase it no more but next season it will be up you could go in and for a small amount you can get coverage up to 24 hours so if anything happens you basically just click a button and uh, we'll be there one of our rigs and all of them are equipped with these booms these booms basically they swivel to allow churning of the vehicle they all have a winch. These are all manufactured here by us. Maintenance free and it's probably one of the best uh, things on the trucks. Track hospital where we bring all the tracks for maintenance or when there's issues with them, when they tear, they basically end up here. And we normally have spare parts for them. So we'll get a spare, whether it's track itself or the bogies or sometimes the main hub uh, will need to be greased or need bearings so we bring them back here and mechanic will come in here and take it apart and repair it but we do have some spare tires with us um, we don't cover we don't have a uh, spare gasoline in this vehicle so we usually carry it on our big truck and we have spare diesel just in case we have uh, gotten people out of on their dirt bikes they ran out of fuel we'll help them out some fuel we'll recover them that way too but other than that, this is our, our guide. So they were ready. The chase vehicle, tools, the tow vehicle, everything really that they needed. And as we were there in the garage filming, I was hoping that they would get the call and we'd go out and recover somebody out of the dunes. But that would not happen, so we had to stay tuned and wait. All the equipment and the team was ready. All we had to do now is just wait for the call. We uh, just got a call from Glamis Recovery 911. So we scarfed our lunch down and we're uh, rushing out to uh, Glamis. We have a, a razor that's flipped that they were gonna try to get out themselves, but they couldn't uh, hopefully be able to get some really good shots of a real live recovery. So it'll be a lot of fun. So for today's recovery, we would start at Osborne Overlook. This is not too far from Vendor Row at Glamis. The tow vehicle was unloaded, as well as the point or chase vehicle. And we got our cameras loaded up, and we had a special surprise. We were going to be able to ride along in the tow vehicle. And that's exciting, because now we get a first-hand view of the actual recovery. Glamis recovery. And... Uh... Here with Poncho. Poncho? Yes. Hi. It's Poncho. And he's driving and we're in the uh, we're in the beast. We're in the beast to drive. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna go a different way, but we're uh, we're all ready, so the original coordinates given had to be updated. The vehicle had moved and someone had tried to move it on their own. But once the vehicle was located the recovery team was able to guide the tracked vehicle into a proper position to be able to recover this safely. At that point, I put the drone up in the air and I wanted to be able to get a little bit more of a bird's eye view to see what's going on. And I jumped out with cameras to make sure I had a couple different angles. And you don't realize how hard it is to run in the sand until you have to. 
recovery was pretty easy. The vehicle was upright in the first place and the team was able to tow the vehicle out. Team members all worked together to make sure it's safe and is recovered properly and no further damage is done to the vehicle. But it's amazing with such vast sand dunes there's always going to be a time where you will need a recovery. As Glamis Recovery got the Razor back to the Overlook, the owner was up there, ready to tow the vehicle further and take it for repair. It was a great experience to see the Glamis Recovery 911 team work together safely, efficiently, and it was pretty amazing to see how easily they did it. And with any recovery, there's always people out there, so we were able to meet and make some new friends. We took a drive to where the original breakdown location was, which was about a quarter mile behind us. Yeah, well, I appreciate you letting me ride along with you guys. So if you're riding in the sand dunes of Glamis or surrounding areas, regardless what you are riding, keep Glamis Recovery 911's phone number handy or buy a prepaid policy for a day, a week, or the whole season. The team is there ready for your call to help you get out safe. Thanks again for watching. We appreciate Glamis Recovery for letting us do a ride along and we'll see you out there on the trail.